Hello. So, we are at the big one, I guess. And uh, what we're doing right now kind of amounts to busy work a little bit. A teensy tiny bit, I don't know. Whatever. It's probably not that. Well, probably the actual thing that we probably have to do is to do a very specific thing in the middle of this thing, probably, right? The one thing, however, is that I, you know, it's probably not bad to start taking out all the stuff around here, to just have free room to do whatever we damn please. And uh, if, if we run into problems that we have, uh, you know, everything's going all right. So we're just going to quickly swoop the area of these little red assholes and uh yeah let's see what's going what's going on here there's something there that looks interesting but i don't know what oh dear this certainly does look interesting these are plants they are flagged as trivial they are as 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 fodolite beautiful contour petals wrap into a florid bowl. Its filament crackles in the stale air. A flowery prose, but wonderful flowery, flowery prose. A bit of dirt sputters from where its pseudo, pseudopodal roots sift through the loam. Oh, beautiful. What is this? Oh yeah, this is the Earl of Omon Porch, possessed of the enterprising spirit Hmm, this does not seem like a, uh, whoops, this does not seem like a random enemy. This seems like a enemy that is here, and here to stay. This is the, yeah, that was kind of the thing, right? The Earl. I did not expect the Earl to be a plant, but that's what it's gonna be, I guess. So we're just going to quickly, oh, now they are hostile because I attacked the things. Oops, whoopsie daisy. Okay, well... And let's get rid of these guys. I, uh... Okay, so, um... That was probably not the best move, but... Well, we're going to take the violent approach. Disliked by newly sentient beings. For refusing them entrance to a local library. Is there a library around here? Well, whatever. We're going to take out this thing with all of our force. Let's do a shield slam to knock it prone. And now let's take a look. What else can we do? I forgot all the things. We can conk. Bam. All right. We can slam. Stun. How are we doing? Yes, they have a lot of health. However... Um... They don't do a lot of damage. And we can whittle them down. Slowly but surely. You know? What are you in terms of... Oh yeah, relatively high armor. So... Using the linear cannon is actually not that bad of an idea. Yep. Yep, yeah, that takes care. Oh well, that takes care of it at least. All of this. Okay, that will secure the spindle. Alright. Alright. Our reputation with those went down, with flowers went down, but newly sentient beings now like us more. And there's now a decorative clay pot. What is this? Is it miscellaneous? It had like armor value and so on. It's armor. Look. Where do you equip that? Right or left hand? Interesting. Or as a thrown weapon, we can throw that around. But, um... Okay. Well, let's take that with us right now. I think this is all that we have to do here. We have to... Yeah, we have now successfully secured this. And now we have to travel back, right? We have to travel back to Gridgate. Which means we don't have to travel, we're just going to, um... We're just going to teleport down there. 
and see. You know what? But now that we are here, I'm going to fully explore this map and kind of uh, see if we find anything interesting or not on and uh, take out these things that are all around here. Can we slam through this? No, we cannot slam through this security door. We're probably going to get the the important card for this one because um, this seems to be gated by story. So we're definitely going to come back here, I'm sure. Right now, let's take out these things. Because that's a good amount of experience, actually. A good amount of experience for us to... to get. So let's do that. Done for the turn, I know. Come on. Ah, don't stun me all the time. Let's go somewhere where we can rest. There we go. Successful resting is the best resting. There's a little area that we can actually go into that is just a red security door, and I think we can just bash through that. So that's good. There's a bunch of these things here. We're just going to do a little gardening and take everything out. Just have to take a look at our... Because, you know, they can whittle you down a little bit, so need to keep an eye on our stuff and rest from time to time. Behind the banana trees. Oh, nice. Okay. Let's take all of these out. Hundred and fifteen for both both these, right? Yes, it's always a hundred and fifteen. Okay. Oops, stunned for the turn. I don't like the green ones. If I'm honest with you. I stun you a lot. That becomes a bit of a nuisance. Stunned for the turn, okay, well that's fine. Stunned for the turn. There we go, another red one. I think we got rid of everything on the grounds here. So now it is time for us to go in. Oh yeah, there are more plants. 18 XP for each of them. Well, that's okay. They're relatively trivial. They just drop like nothing from your hits with, or from our hits with the, with the big hammer. So that's good. Let's take out the rest of these dudes. Come on. Slime dudes, whatever those are. Oh, there is a chain gun turret here. Let's take it out. Why are they... Hmm, it's also, yeah. It's also mostly... Let's see, how does our linear cannon work against those? Actually, pretty well. Yeah, now oh, whatever. Let's do it that way. I think, after all, it's quicker. Okay. More of them. There's another turret. Let's stay behind the banana tree. It's a musket turret, yeah. Not that great. But you know, can clean up some stuff here. Another musket turret. Another fuel. Gelatinism. Guys, what is that? Oh yeah, Red Death Daka. Well. There was actually, I think, what I got from the quest description. If I, re It has been a while ago since I have read that. But uh, there's apparently also a way to do this non-violently. Let's get the Taco Supremas. How many do we have? We have a bunch of them by now, right? Eight Taco Supremas. Also, the Taco Supremas do not weigh anything. Interesting. Maybe that's why they are so good. So expensive. Probably 
a food item that does not weigh much, but uh, it's probably pretty filling. I guess that's probably how it goes, right? So let's check out the rest here. As far as we can go, we are probably going to run into a wall at some point, because we're probably not supposed to enter. Everything here. Check on turret. Let's take it out. No problem. Okay, it's done for the turn. It's a big ol' stunning spectacle. That I don't mean that it, the spectacle itself is stunning. I mean that everything stuns everything. Okay, there we go. Oh well, we can go. We can get in here in a pretty thorough fashion. That's interesting. And we've murdered so many of these of these guys. Jeez. Fullerite flake armor. What are we? Oh, we have a fullerite plate mail. Hmm, that's very interesting. Can you look at that? Yes. Hundreds of small chips of fullerite. Aha, uh -huh, bound to a hard leather cuirass. That's very interesting. Three silver nuggets, why not? Let's pick those up. There's a lot of these gaslight flissers. And we have found already. Yeah, we probably cannot go south anymore, right? Oh yes, we can, but probably not in there. Vine wafers. And a flamethrower, that's good. We're probably going to stick with the linear cannon. And we got taken out by a yonder bush. Christ. Oops. Uh, not that far. Let's go in here again. Let's rest. And let's continue. And three more, a few more rooms that we can get into. Steel arrows, freeze grenade, fix it, spray foam. Ah, okay. Hmm, there's another chest. Compass bracelet, copper nugget. Well, that's not very. That's a weird artifact. Resonance grenade. What do they do? Inorganic. Oh, yeah, a lot of damage to inorganic matter. Bunch of damage to. Yeah, we're going to pick that up. Square cap. Plus one ego, plus one intelligence. That's interesting. And the last time, gloves. Yeah. Let's get the, the square cap. Chain mail, plate mail. All that jazz. We have here, floating glow sphere, we have enough of those. So, oh wow, this actually lets us, in, lets us get in here, but not here. Not over there, that's where we are stopped. Okay, good. Take up the Gatling turret, take up the rest of these guys, and then we are kind of done here. So, I think what I'm going to do is I'm going to use the Grit Gate Recoiler. Wowie. Grit Gate Recoiler, here we go. We are transported, because now we have to talk to these guys again. Let's see, hello. Who are you? Shem1. That's just a normal merchant, so let's do a little bit of trading here. Clay pot, square cap. Yeah, that doesn't seem to be all that great. Desert rifle, folding hammer, camel bladder. You know, I think we're all right for now. Yeah, probably. We have a bunch of stuff, man. A lot of these silver nuggets as well. Okay, I think we're good. Trade complete. You. No, that's more this thing. We just have to find our main dude, who is somewhere, I guess? Oh yeah, that's you, isn't it? The spindle is ours. 5,000 XP, good. Completed the quest. Let's see. I have duties to attend. Okay. Oh dear, there's something going on. Call to arms. Okay. 
Defend grid gate from it. Oh, now things are getting interesting. Ah, so there's a lot more going on. Keep Mafeo alive. Keeps. Oh, yeah. We can keep all these guys alive. But now things are getting dicey, aren't they? Massive door. What's going on? Oh, yeah. Those are the Templars, aren't they? That's Kugel, Knight Templar. Now we actually have to fight them. Interesting. Okay, well, let's go ahead. And... Yeah, this works. They can take a lot of hits. And they have a lot of armor, so our linear cannon might be really good. Yeah, the linear cannon is what does the trick. Yeah, so... Didn't do as much damage as I would like, actually. But... Probably mean a lot of these guys will... Die here. Uh, okay, well, we're going to just do our best. If we miss a bunch of these optional objectives, well, so be it. This is probably really good as a... Uh, they're actually neutral against us. Um, this is probably really good as a... Sort of as a uh, non-physical damage person. Oops, stunned for the turn. Ah, they're all dead. They're all dead. We have to do the rest. Oh uh, yeah, and we're actually taking a bunch of damage. Oh dear, I'm surrounded. That is bad. Let's see if we can go somewhere else. Oops. Come on. Oh well, at least we can rest here. No, they are not hostile anymore. Okay, well... You come here. And now this is better. This is better. We should have done this earlier. And now we can take out one by one. The thing is, I think a lot of our optional objectives... ...have not worked. A lot of folks have not survived the attack. Yeah, this is rough. We are not equipped to deal with a lot of those at one time, right? So, this is, as I said, this is probably really good when you have a, uh, a, someone, for example, that can do a lot of damage with mental attacks and stuff like that. Like, we are doing fine here. But, uh, we cannot do so much damage that we can sort of keep everyone else from being hurt. Well, such it goes. Yes, call to arms. 2000 XP. Yeah, well, we did not do a lot of the optional stuff. So what do we have? Oh, we have an engraved thing. Let's take a, take a look at that. that nothing, that's nothing new. A lot of this stuff is not... Yeah. Well, Q-Girl lived. That's nice. Oh, we took a ton of water skins, which is... Uh, uh, <laughs> too much. Let's drop this. Let's drop this. Let's drop this. Let's drop this. And is there anything else we can drop? I think I'm going to get rid of the um, the clay pot. Okay. What is this weird artifact? Seems to be a rifle. Let's take a look at that real fast. Six pounds, it's a phase cannon. 
What's the difference? Massive energy cannon. 16 penetration. 40, 12. That looks nice. Um, let's try this. Let's put in one of our solar cells. How about that? Water ritual with worms and fish went down, whatever. Just... Let's just do this, why not? You know? Um... Yeah, secret. Junip. These are just ruins, aren't they? Yeah. Well, okay. Whatever. Oops. There are two of these guys. Ortho and Ortho. Is that... They actually, they have different reputation things. Huh. Oh. Live and drink, Ortho. Okay. Call to arms. I wonder if this is a bug. I spoke with Barathrum. He praised your handling of the Earl of Oman Porch, and he thanks you for the bravery you exhibited in defending Gridgate. The attack today reminds us, for too long have we put our faith in the isolation of our guild and the preoccupations of the Putus Templar. The looming threat of another attack impels Barathrum to accelerate his plans, and with them, your position in our guild. Your race to disciple friend. Okay? Like, we are doing everything here. Right? <laughs> it's again the classic RPG thing. Barathrum Bar wishes to speak with you immediately. Okay. Yes, disciple. Take this key and follow the stairs down to his study. He awaits. Okay, now we have to go down, right? Can we actually go in here now? No. Barathrum study. Here we are. Our luminous horse rooms. Okay, are you Barathrum? Barathrum the old. Hello. Come closer, nestling. Let me look upon your countenance. Ortho said you wish to speak with me. I do. Your service to the guild has been laudable, disciple. You braved the vaporous depth of, the, of Bethesda Sousa and decoded the signal. You secured the spindle grounds and handled the safe and handled the self-appointed Earl. And perhaps most materially, you defended our enclave from the Putus Templar. Since you returned from Bethesda, you've no doubt wondered, wondered at the signal's contents. Verily, I hid them to shield you from the weight of the truth. Only Otho, Q-Girl, and I bear that burden, but circumstances have changed. The river of time powers the gear train of our schemes and devices, and it rushes forth. From here I must share the burden, you must know. Oh, we are going to have some revealing exposition here. Ooh, I'm looking forward to that. Let's see. What is it? Where does the signal come from, and what does it say? The signal is a beacon of welcoming, and it originates from the top of the spindle. And what is the spindle, then? The beacon confirmed my hypothesis. The spindle is an elevator, engineered by the Eaters to convey freight to and from the Vault of Heaven. You see, Nestling, in the earliest aurora of our past, the Eaters of Earth were joined by a great coven of beings that spanned the firmament. But the Eater succumbed to some terrible temptation, and an injunction was placed on our world. Since then, the stars were silent to us, and our world was left to molder and to decay. But sometime, something, bah, something changed. The signal affirms that an entity roosts atop the spindle, and invites us to join it. Dare I say, is the injunction at an end? It's too early to tell, but at la alas, there could be hope for our world. So, it's something about, you know, ascension to, to heaven, essentially. It gets kind of esoteric here. I intend to ascend the spindle and answer the call, disciple. My protege Q-Girl has designed a climber for the ascent. We intended to construct it to piecewise at the enclave and the site itself, but the engineering feat exceeds even our capacity. 
With time, I am confident we could accomplish it, but the Putus Templar rob us of our patience. We need to act now, and so, as loath I am, as I am to admit it, we need Pax Clank. Who is Pax Clank? Pax Clank is an eccentric mushroom prodigy. All its fault aside, it's a brilliant scientist and engineer, and I have little doubt that it could build the climber faster than we could. Several years have passed since we last since we were last in contact, but it owes us a debt, and we must now collect. Unfortunately, no one knows Pax Clang's whereabouts. Through contacts I made over the years, I inquired as to its location. The most I was able to garner was these enigmatic instructions. Seek the heart of the rainbow, eat the god's flesh, and foral follow the coral path. I must ask you to decipher this enigma. Find Pax Clank and convince it to construct the climber. Remind Pax of the debt it owes us. It strikes me as likely for this rainbow to refer to the rainbow wood or Clank's kin consort, so I suggest you start there. So we actually have to go there. I hope we're not going to get mushroomed to hell and back, but we're going to see. Yeah. Live and drink. First speak with Qwell. So let's do the water ritual with these. Putus Templar went down, that's okay. Fellowship of Warden went up, and Bears went up. Let's share some secrets here. Like this. Prison Capia. Okay, these are all ruins, aren't they? Yeah. Okay. We can't do anything else here. Oops, I did not. Okay, I wonder why this goes away, actually. This is blacked out, but it doesn't really do that. What's with the house plant over there? Prattle plant. He stores every phrase he hears in his in his new root network and mimics speech. Interesting. We might actually try to talk to that. What do we have here? Luminous horse room. And that's a floating glow sphere. Okay. That's a globe. Lux gauge, bathroom clock, electrodicious. Huh. Can we talk to the plant? Yes, we can. Thip, 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 thip. When you make, when you make, goes wild. What? Okay. I think this is just. This just tells us all kinds of. Uh, yeah. All kinds of stuff. <laughs> That's cool. Crime and punishment? What? <laughs> the ink is faded beyond legibility. Okay. <laughs> well. Why not? Let's have some Dostoevsky in here. Um... Picked up a ton of water. Poor. Be on yourself, why not? Come on. Oh, that's a glass wall. Okay. All right, let's let's go talk to Cure Girl then. Good thing that she survived. Hey. The ref room asked me to deliver your blueprints to Pax Clank. Good luck. Okay. Blueprints for Q-Girl's Climber design. Alright, now we have those. What we have to do is we probably have to go... We probably have to go to... Whoops, carrying too much to move. What did I... I picked up a lot of interesting stuff. So, we only... We don't need these powered exoskeletons. I think I'm going to leave that here, actually. So, weird artifact. Ulna stimulators? What are those? Oh, those are gloves. Plus one agility, plus one strength. That's cool. Um... Mm-hmm. What else did we pick up? A bunch of cells. Ripe banana. Another Argos data disk? Interesting. 
And a bunch of, bunch of gemstones, right? Yeah. Hmm. Okay. Plastifier jerkin. Let's get the green security card, why not? We can just smash through that stuff, so it doesn't really matter, but, um... Okay! Well, friends, we are... We are... in an interesting spot. So yeah, this game actually goes on for much longer. Now we have to actually take a look at the forest, and uh, I'm interested in doing so. So we're going to... We're going to find out more stuff. So this actually does continue for a while. So that's going to be the next thing. We're going to go over there to the forest. We could make a little detour to the Eaters thing, just to, um, to the Tomb of the Eaters to stock up on a little bit of food. And then we're going to go into the forest and see... see what's going on. It's all going to be interesting. Ha! Alright! Progress! Thank you for watching and see you again next time. Bye bye!